Thank you for joining us on Valley News Live Tuesday. Another first alert weather day. Why? Well, we're expecting snow for some, not all of our counties, but wind will impact all of us and that's going to create tricky travel by the afternoon for most. Some of us will feel the impacts by morning and right now we have some flakes flying on the radar. Grand Forks, you're just starting to see a few flakes as we'll show you uh, on our exclusive uh, camera right from the the uh, area there by. Uh, well, let's see. It is our our uh, home of economy camera showing a few flakes and it's moving and extending all the way up into the Grafton and Park River area. So it's just getting here moving from northwest to southeast drifting through. It's going to be light and real uh, hit and miss flakes across. We are seeing a little bit of activity showing up in lakes country as well. The main event really taking place up here in Saskatchewan and that's going to make its way in and during the overnight hours, we'll see some accumulating snow potential from this system working its way to the south and to the east. Right now, nationally, the storm system that impacted us on Friday and did a dipsy doodle all the way down to the south and made its way up along the Atlantic seaboard. It is exiting but continues to cause troubles there. More on our forecast here in a minute. Right now, 28 degrees, light winds out of the northeast. Get out and enjoy these temperatures and conditions because they're about to change. 508, our time of sunset. Freezing line making its way through the central part of the Dakotas right now above freezing in Bismarck, above freezing in Mobridge at 42. 27 for Oaks, a degree better in Fargo, Moorhead and Lakes Country, but up north it is a little cooler. With 27 in Bemidji, it's teens along the international border at this hour. Your hour by hour forecast. Okay, let's talk about this as we go through the evening hours. Most of us will see a shot at flurry chances mainly, but the snow by the time we get to the nine or 10 o'clock hour will begin in our northeast North Dakota counties and it will start accumulating. Temperatures will still be in the teens and 20s, so not bad there. As we go through the overnight, it spreads across northwest Minnesota and keeps coming with a heavier band taking place up north of the border, along the border by daybreak. So there will be accumulation for your morning commute in our northern communities. So there will be areas of slick roads. There will be some snow and a little bit of blowing snow, but this batch of snow does not come with a lot of wind yet. That wind does pick up though as we go through the day and check out these morning temperatures in the mid 20s for many. The charcoal area here in gray, there's going to be a chance of some patchy dense fog and low clouds. Now as we go through the midday hours, the snow spreads east and exits North Dakota, but look what comes in. Gusty northwest winds. Those winds will gust over uh, 40 miles per hour as we go through the midday hours and afternoon, and then the cold air starts to make its way down. This wind is going to cause, even in areas that didn't get new snow, we have enough loose, uh, loosely packed snow on the ground to cause some blowing snow, some drifting snow, and areas of reduced visibility including the potential for some near blizzard like conditions in areas that do get fresh snow. All in all, it looks like a rough afternoon commute for many with temperatures that will be falling by night and will already be creating dangerous wind chills by the nighttime hours in the 20 to 40 below category as air temperatures slide below zero and not to recover for a couple of days. In Fargo, we start out the forecast day in the 20s. And then we will see temperatures of falling gusty northwest winds. Notice not much of a chance of snow here in Fargo or point south. Temperatures falling all the way to near zero by the 10 o'clock hour with dangerous wind chills. A snapshot at 3.30 in the afternoon shows the cold air making its way into the Devil's Lake Basin. Temperatures near 20 for the rest of us as our snow will have exited, but all areas will have gusty northwest winds with tricky travel for that afternoon impact. Middle River, look at this, beautiful conditions. Tina, it looks very wintry there with those sun rays drifting or making their way through those fancy cirrus clouds. After our first alert weather day on a very windy and snowy for some Tuesday where we could see two to five inches along the international border and one to three for northwest Minnesota and northeast North Dakota. Bitter cold on Wednesday, we're talking below zero all day, but the coldest takes place on Thursday. So it's a first alert weather day. We'll have wind chills between 30 and 50 below zero. We get a rebound that starts on Friday. Whoop, temperatures go all the way back up into the 20s with south winds. It's going to bring another chance of snow. Behind, behind that, another northwest flow bringing us cold Arctic air as we go into the middle of next week. So, Mike, you mentioned it right off the top, a roller coaster of weather events over the next several days. The good news is I don't see any that have huge amounts of snow, but with the wind, that is always mm -hmm. a problem around here. So. And we need to take precautions. Yes. All right, thanks.